Hi everyone, welcome to VLSA Explore with Raman. Today we discuss static and automatic tasks in system relax. Before understanding the static and automatic tasks in system relax, let's understand what a task in system relax. Task provides a way to group related statements and review them at different parts of the code. What does it mean means? Let's consider you wanted to do some parity calculation. The parity calculation you are doing so many places inside the code. At that time, you have to be write manually for the each statements of the code. Instead of that, you can group all the parity calculation statements inside the task and review them at different parts of the code by calling the task name. Inside the task, you can use the timing construct or the rate delay based statements. Arguments can be input, output, in out. In case of the task, it will not return any value. You have to be used output for the return in the values. Can optional have a no arguments? Inside the task, we can call task and function also. This is the syntax for the task. Task, task name, can you task, task body. What is static task? Static tasks are the tasks in system that do not store local copies of the variable for each call. They share the same memory across all the invocation, which means you are calling the static task. For each call, calling the ta static task, it will create the same memory. It will not create the different memory. When you are calling the if task, it will create the same memory here. Different using the static keyword. When you want to declare the static task, means you have to use the static keyword by declaring the static task inside the class. By default, if not specify the automatic, Inside the class, inside the model, task is static. What is automatic task? Each call to an automatic task gets its own copy of a local variable, preventing the shared memory issues. Which means, when you calling the task, it will create a separate memory for each time. Here you can see. Yeah, when you calling the each call, it will create the separate memory, its own copy of the local variables, preventing the shared memory issues. In a class, task is automatic by default. To declare a task as automatic in a module, you must explicitly use the automatic keyword inside the model. All variables declared inside the automatic task are automatic variables unless explicitly declared as a static. Just write a code for it, you can understand easily here. I'm declaring the model. Test I'm doing one operation which is doubling the value for the passing arguments here. I'm declaring double task name in the I'm doubling this value of a thing. Yes. Yes. After five nanoseconds, let display this value. Okay, I'm doing the double operation for the variable here. A equal to into two. It will double. Now display the values here. I'm using the dollar time to get the what the simulation time here. Display time. No display. You see, sentence. No task. Now insert the initial. I'm calling this double task parallel, okay? By doing a four. I am passing in the argument as a here to the thread one. Now you can call another double task the value for thread two.
let's call it after two nanoseconds for the double task per thread. So, okay. let's make this work. New model. Here you can see this is task. Okay, task double. I am doubling the value for the arguments A here. I am displaying the timing and what is string also. Here, inside the model, task is a static. No need to declare the static keyword here. Inside the model, task is static. Now let's run the code here. What is the output here are you getting? Red 2 A is 8, red 2 A is 16. Here I am calling the double task here. Um, parallel I am calling after 2 nanoseconds, I am calling the double for thread 2. Okay, for 0 nanoseconds, I am calling thread 1. But what is for the I am passing 2 here? What is the value? How to get 4? But I am getting 8 here. Why I am getting 8 here? Because it is static, it will create same memory. When you call each time, it will create the same memory. Okay, how let's understand the code properly. Here, I am calling zero nanoseconds double thread one. Okay, here I what is the value I am passing two. But when the display will execute after five nanoseconds, the display will execute. But between that. After uh, after two nanoseconds, I'm calling the double thread two. Okay, uh, what is the value I'm passing? Four. I am passing value four. Okay, after five nanoseconds, thread two. It will overridden. Uh, this is zero nanoseconds. After two nanoseconds, I'm overriding this value, which is initially it has two and thread one. The string has a thread one. It is all the variables which are inside that uh, arguments, which is int a and the string a. So both are uh, static in nature. Okay, I'm overriding this values, which is at after two nanoseconds, I am changing to four here. What is the value I will get? Four into two, eight. Yeah, here you can see after five nanoseconds, thread two. Why I am getting thread two means here after two nanoseconds, it is it will execute after five nanoseconds. Between that, I am overriding the thread one with the thread two. Okay. At that time, what is the value you can get? Thread two, you can get here. You can see thread two for the after five nanoseconds. I am getting thread two. Now after seven nanoseconds. Here you can see after 5 nanoseconds, then after the you have to be thread 2. When it will execute after 7 nanoseconds, it will execute. But at the time, what is the previous it has a value? It has 8. Okay. When you calling this double task thread 2, it will get it has a 8 initially. Now it makes as a double for 16. Yeah. After 7 nanoseconds, thread A is 16. You understand now? Here you can see static means it will create the same memory. A memory means here you can understand here. A is 8. How you can get 8 here? Because here after 2 nanoseconds, I am passing 4 here, which means it will execute after 5 nanoseconds, which has it will double after 5 nanoseconds. It will get the value A 4 here. A into A into 2, which is 8 here. But after 7 nanoseconds, what is the value it has? It has 16. Why? It has the previous, what is the value for the A? It has 8. It, when you are multiplying 2 with respect to 8, it is 16. After 7 nanoseconds, 16. But if it is not a static, let's uh, declare the automatic. Here you can see, for each call, it will create a separate memory. For the thread 1, it will get 4. For thread 2, it will get 8 here. See, for thre thread 1, what is the value? It is getting 4. For the thread 2, I am getting 8. It will create a separate memory. Yeah. But for the automatic static task here, it will not create a separate memory. It will create the same memory. Due to that, you are getting the multiplying the value. Previously, value you are multiplying it, which is initially it has 8. Now, after calling the double task, it is getting the value for the 8 system here. See here, initially it has 8. After multiplying 8 into 2, system you are getting, which means it has the same memory. It will save the same memory for the each calling the task here. It is static task. Okay. When you want to declare the automatic task, means you have to declare the automatic keyword here. Automatic. 
inside the module you have to declare for the automatic task it will uh, create the separate memory you can get uh, four, four here for thread one eight for the thread two see for thread one a is four thread two eight which means it will create it will create separate memory for the each calling the task here yeah it will creating the same separate memory if you like the content please share and subscribe